What's up, everyone? It's your certified health coach, Caroline Jordan, here to help you get stronger at home. Today, we're going to focus on strengthening and sculpting your beautiful arms with the standing arms workout using weights. So grab your dumbbells and get ready to feel the burn. If you don't have weights, you can absolutely use water bottles or household items with some resistance to it. And remember, you can find the full length total body standing at home workout on Patreon, where I provide exclusive video content and a monthly follow along calendar program to help you get amazing results at home. You can join us today at patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness to get started. I would love to have you as part of my community and I'm positive you'd see amazing fitness results. With all that being said, get ready to feel your upper body getting stronger and more powerful with every rep in this standing arms workout with weights. After a one minute upper body warm up, we'll move into a series of nine exercises with our weights. So have your dumbbells nearby and let's get started. First exercise is an arm jumping jack. Reach your arms out and open and close. We want to dynamically stretch our chest and our shoulders to prepare us for all of the fabulous work to come. I love the arm jack. It always feels so good, especially after a lot of time on the computer. Just let the arms be loose and generate Good energy. Our second warm up move are goalpost arms. So bring your arms into a 90 degree position and squeeze the elbows in and out. What I want you to think about here is engaging your upper back and keeping your elbows lifted in line with your shoulders. You're already feeling your arms start to wake up. That's a good sign. Are you feeling warmer? Good, because we're going to pick up our weights. First movement with your dumbbells is a bent over row. Hands by your sides, hinge forward at your hips. You're going to bring the weights in and down. So I want you to think about engaging your back muscles as you squeeze the weights towards your hips. As you're here, belly button in, nice long spine. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. You're doing great. We have one minute here, so feel free to pace yourself, go slower or faster as needed. This is all about meeting yourself where you're at today. Whew, that feels good. You got it. And that's our time. Stand up all the way, bicep curls. You can bring your shoulders, hands to your shoulders and right back down. <laughs> you can drop your shoulders as you curl your hands up and down. Now there's a few different way to bicep curl. You can have your palms facing inwards or your palms facing upwards. Play around to see what works for you. Good. How's your posture? Make sure you breathe. I try to keep a neutral wrist here. Nothing crazy. Now, if you tried my other upper body workouts, you know the bicep curl is definitely a fan favorite. People love a good bicep curl. Whew. Our rear delt fly is coming up next. For this exercise, you will return to your hinge position and from your back, I want you to fly your arms out and down. So we want our arms to come out to the side, kind of like you're a bird with wings. Same cues here as the bent over row, keeping your spine long, abs pulled in and breathing. This one you can use a little momentum as you open because it is a very challenging movement. It's a great shoulder exercise. Absolutely so good for healthy shoulders. Strengthening our posture muscles. Whew. Come 
comment below if you feel this. I know I do. <laughs> One or two more reps here. And relax, stand up into an overhead press. Bring the weights to your shoulders, zip up through your belly muscles, and then press your arms overhead and back down. Now, depending on the weight that you're lifting, if the resistance is really heavy, try one arm at a time. So choose a weight that challenges you for the suggested interval, which is 60 seconds. And the more you practice this video, if you're finding the same weight is not providing the same challenge, pick up a heavier set. But different exercises, like the shoulder press, are harder to lift heavier weight than the bent over row. So you might want to vary the resistance that you choose for each exercise. So one weight, overhead or both, pick your pleasure. Just check in with that posture and make sure you're breathing. Good job. Lateral raise. Bring your weights down. Now we're going to go out to a 45 degree angle. Out and down, working the side of the shoulder. If it's too much with straight arms, you can bend your elbows and come out like this. We've done this in many of my arm workouts before because the shoulders helped sculpt your physique. So bent elbows or straight arms. If your weights are pretty light, I would challenge you to try the straight arm variation. That's it, good job. You're doing great. Abs in tight. Whew. You might have to slow down on this one. Oh my goodness, my arms. It's getting tough. Our next move, we get to work those triceps. Tricep kick back. Bring your elbows in by your sides, hinge forward to your hips. You're going to extend from the elbow and then bend from the elbow. So extend and bend. You want to really squeeze the back of your arm. Now, people often really want to target, quote, the arm flab. Be kind to yourself with your words is what I say. But the triceps will definitely help you shape up the back of your arm and help you flex in those tank tops or tight dresses you're wearing. Whatever you're, whatever you're flaunting, let's flex those arms right now. Good. Shoulders stay away from the ears. Tummy's nice and tight. Whew. <laughs> I'm laughing because my arms are on fire right now. All right, stand up. Weights come together. You're going to bring the weights over your head. Belly in, biceps by your ears. Weights drop back and press up. So a tricep, some people call this just an overhead press. I want you to really keep the weights touching. Keep your biceps by your ears. Try not to back bend. And again, you should feel the backs of your arms. When it comes to seeing definition in your upper body muscles, consistent strength training is really going to move the needle in the right direction. So you want to make sure you're incorporating upper body strength workouts at least two to three times a week. My Patreon follow along calendar will help you do that so that you can consistently over time strength train and see improved results. And remember, variety is key. So you can't be doing the same thing all the time. You got to mix it up. Good. Whew. Upright row. Bring your weights down. Flip the palms of your hands to face your thighs. Roll your shoulders down and back. You're going to make a smile with your arms and then right back down. I call it a smile because like we say on this channel, smiling is very advanced. But another way to think about it is zipping up a sweater up and down. Really shaping the shoulders with this routine here. And after this, we only have one more move to go. Good. Bring those arms up and down. Smiling with your arms. <laughs> Our last move is on its way and I'm going to let you make the decision to either choose to keep your dumbbells or drop them. 
Since my arms are burning, I will not be using dumbbells because I feel like just body weight is going to get me a good, a good burn. But you pick your pleasure. All right. And dumbbells down or hold them on. Last move is punches. So arms up, brace with your core. You're just going to hit straight forward. There's a little rotation in your obliques here. If you are using weights, I hope they're light because this is challenging no matter what. Slight bend in your knees, go faster or slower, but burn it out. Let's go, my friend. Whoo! Punch, punch, punch. Finishing on a strong note. Yeah! Hey, you're doing great. Keep it going. Can you go a little faster? Can you challenge yourself a little more? I bet you can. Come on, let's go. Home stretch. Couple more punches, straight forward. Yes. Done. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. And let it out, exhale. And you, my friend, have just successfully completed this 10 minute upper body standing dumbbell workout. Now let me know how your arms feel. I wanna hear from you below in the comments. And don't forget to check out the full length standing workout on Patreon. I would love to see you there. Till next time, my friend, stay strong, stay positive, and I'll see you soon at carolinejordanfitness.com. Mm -hmm.